Hi guys, it's Z, and I am back with more Black Mirror. Let's go. If father hid the key for me to find, then this means nobody has been able to enter this room since his death. Uh, you Jimmy the the desk to get the key to go to this room, so there's a there's a high probability someone else did the same. Oh, it's kind of I got a creepy green Cthulhu light going on there. Let's check everything else out first. Myths and legends of the Highlands. From the library, I'd wager. So that's where one of the missing books are. Uh, I'm not all that keen to go to the creepy green desk. So dad was a smoker, which you wouldn't have thought so given the way he ran. Everything but the seal. Cool desk. So none of these papers are important? Hmm, that's suspicious, but fine. What a mess. Letters about the day-to-day -day running of the estate. These might be useful if I decide to live here. The handwriting must be Edwards. Pay half what he asks. Forward to lawyers. Charming. And this one. Your money won't protect you forever. The hangman will catch up eventually. A curse on you and your family. Seems he was as popular as he was pleasant. No. No, don't dismiss that. That's creepy as hell. drawer. Oh, some sort of secret compartment. Father's handwriting. The chapel. The family chronicles. I may find answers there. Good. We have a path forward. I beg you to reconsider, Sir Edward. My family has lived on this land for many generations, and to be told we must leave our own home is too much to bear. Alice, my wife, whom you have met, is beside herself with grief. We have nowhere else to go. I beg you to look inside your heart and allow us to remain. And the bottom of the note says, have them out by the end of the month. That's terribly sad. The signs are there. Deny them at your peril. The ancient evil that inhabits this land has seeped into the very stone of the castle walls. And if you do not tread carefully, it will infect your family. These people are slightly superstitious. Contact the constable. Have this witch locked up so she doesn't bother us again? Jeez. <sighs> okay. Just bits and bobs. I guess that's everything. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything else I can interact with, so... I got the clue to where I need to go next. This looks interesting. Hmm. Is 
screwed down tight. <laughs> Someone didn't want it moved. Sony has its secrets. Oh, oh, I, I have a piece precise, for this. Accurate. A lot of work went into this. Don't I have a piece of this castle? There's a bit miss. Hold on. There. Stop your waiting! Stop your waiting! Well, this game took a turn. Disturbing me in my sleep. Are you all right, sir? What happened? What happened, David? Uh, the boy. There was blood, and he he pushed him down. Who? Who do you think you saw? Him. He hit a child. I hate him. I mean, he did more than hit the kid. He, he knocked him down the stairs and killed him. Maybe you shouldn't <sighs> kill anyone, but not kids for sure. Oh. <gasps> What did you just say, sir? It's all right. You're like your father. You can see them too, can't you? Them what? I see dead people? My father. What did he think he saw? It ain't my place to say, sir. But I... Go on. Begging your pardon, sir. You should go. This place, it drove your father mad. Drove him? Did he say what or whom he saw? I'm sure I don't know, sir. Best not push her too hard. She's scared enough of me already. I've been babbling in my sleep since I was a child. It's not... Of course, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, I didn't get your name. It's Ailsa, sir. Ailsa Cranon. Oh, and Master Andrew asks if you would join him in the library. After breakfast, of course. Thank you, Miss Cranon. Get a hold of yourself, David. So the connection is pretty bad right now. I'm going to stop here and continue when uh, it clears up.
Were these apparitions what drove my father from the castle when he was young? Were they what drew him back? He must have found something in the family chronicles he spoke of. Nobody else saw the boy or the old man who looked like my grandfather Edward. But it felt real. More even than the daydreams that plagued my childhood. I don't remember ever seeing that boy. A faded memory, perhaps? As far as I know, I'd never been to this castle before. So it's not him? And he's like suppressed his memory of being tossed down the stairs. So I completely forgot what I'm supposed to be doing now. The quest log. Who was the boy? Find out what Elisa knows. Oh, well, this is the maid. <laughs> it's been a few days, so now, of course, I don't know my name or I don't know my name or who I am or where I live anymore. Also, while, while I'm looking right to conclude the rat story, my landlord came. We put poison in the walls and I, I hate to kill a fellow mammal, but had to be done. So hopefully that will keep them away. Well, we'll see what happens. Aye, and once you're done in the kitchen, go and clean up the cellar. The spiders have made a nest down there. A big one, too. They're crawling everywhere. Oh! No! Uh, Master David, nice of you to grace us with your presence. That's snarky. I appreciate your patience. I've had the staff prepare some of the finest Scottish delicacies for you. Black pudding, haggis, scrambled eggs with deer brain, and bacon. Is not eat an option? Can I can I just eat eat the bacon? I gotta eat all of it. I shot the deer myself in the local woods. I don't need to know that. I don't wanna eat your buckshot. Mother was never a fan of dishes made from entrails. In this case, she'd be missing out. Can I just have the tea? Can I have, please, the tea, milk? Oh, fine. That was delicious. Thank you. I'm sure our local specialities must seem peculiar to one raised as you were. I was raised in India. My spectrum of peculiar has quite a range. That's fair. Anything I can poke at here? Oh, it's so nice to see this place during the day. You know, with actual light. Oh, look, we have plants and dressers. Oh, so pretty. Enter the garden. No, 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 little friend. I've got to walk in a straight line. But it is raining, so it might not let me. Elsa knows more about my father than she dares tell me. I'd better earn her trust now. She might return to the village once the weather clears. Okay. Smoking a pipe. I thought that would be beneath her station. Not really. She's a bitchin' old granny. Shall we say hi? Uh, Lady Margaret. David. May I first apologize for my strange behavior last night? It's just that... Uh, think nothing of it. You are obviously tired from your travels. Least said, soonest mended. I don't want to give her another reason to think me mad. Uh, this may seem like an unusual question. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, dear boy. Have I ever been here before? 
Is it possible I visited as a child and can no longer remember? Oh no, you are a stranger to these walls. And I have a feeling you prefer it stayed that way. I don't know if I want to ask about her husband, but uh, it's a button and I gotta push it. Uh, what kind of man was my grandfather? Crazy. Oh, he was magnificent. Magnificently crazy. He was handsome, so handsome, and caring. Caring and crazy. Enough to knock a defenseless child down the stairs. All was so very different when he was around. Magnificently different. The maid. She seemed to be acting strangely, like she was frightened of me. Yes, well, she's a simple sort, that one. She dumb. She has probably heard of the curse of the Gordons the locals like to whisper about. Curse? What curse? Just a peasant superstition. I would guess she was worried you'd show the same displays of unpredictable violence as your father did. Her magnificent I never knew my father to be the violent type. Oh, there are many things you do not know about your father. This is his doing. What? But, but how? What? What? Show it to us. He saw it. I'd rather not discuss it, David. And that maid should really keep her mouth shut and locate the earring she lost. She's like a magpie with shiny, expensive things. I could give it to her, and she'd still never tell me anything useful about my father or the secrets of this place. But the maid? I could use this to earn her trust. Oh, you're a I sneaky one. I shall take one. my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. So oh, and David, the master of the house needs to respect the privacy of those under his roof. Even your father understood that. Sometimes a cabinet is locked for a reason. A cabinet? I'm... I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know anything about it. I see. Never mind, then. <laughs> Excuse me, you stupid old bitch. Uh, first of all, whenever they say that anyone beneath them is superstitious or ignorant that just means they're getting into my business uh, shut up stupid maid you're not allowed to know what I know because I I don't know did something bad with my father or I shot another servant what the hell ever it is it's always something like stupid that they can't know and that makes them simple no actually that makes them really observant where's the kitchen Oh, where the bloody hell is the bloody kitchen? The kitchen should be on the first floor. I mean, it's not going to be up here. No, that's the master's creepy-ass bedroom. Or room. That's the creepy-ass master. That's the attic I can't get into. Oh, where's the kitchen? Oh, sweet God in heaven. <laughs> Hi, Lady Margaret. Um, where's the kitchen? You don't know? Bye! This will make it easier to carry. The boy. It must be. But I need to be sure. Perhaps the names are on the back. My family. Yet they're all still strangers to me. Lady Margaret. She looks happy. I can't imagine her smiling like that these days. <sighs> Grandfather Edward. Just as he looked last night. Magnificent Edward. So magnificent. And this was our table. My family. Oh. Yet they're all still strangers to me. 
Ugh. The boy. How did he provoke Edward into throwing him down the stairs? He existed. What's this? Looks like it's drawn in blood? That's normal. Are those tentacles? They look like tentacles. Oh. Oh no, what is this? The magnificent grandfather. They look significantly less magnificent there. Lots of teeth. Hello, butler. Where is the kitchen? Oh, I'm an asshole? Yeah, you're right. Let's move on. It only took 40 freaking minutes. Uh, Miss Cranon? I think you may have lost this. Oh, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. I only wanted to see how it looked in the mirror. I didn't mean to. I was scared to tell her ladyship... She can have such a temper. What are you going to do now? Uh, if I can sneak it into the salon, maybe her ladyship will think she lost it there herself. From what I know about her, I very much doubt her ladyship will. All right, well, I have buttered her up. Let's start poking. Isn't that used for transporting cooked food? Why is there blood in it? Uncooked food? Ugh, the wee scunner thought it would be funny to put one of his dead beasties in it to fear me. He should keep them in the cellar and... Sorry, sir. I'm speaking out of turn. Would you like me to escort you to the cellar? Wouldn't be proper to ask the owner of the house to do that, sir. Well, I'm not the owner yet. And you didn't ask. Very kind of you, sir. Happy to help. I'll let you know when I'm ready to accompany you down there. Did you ever talk to my father? I was serving here when he... That is to say, I... Go on, please. I didn't think it'd be proper, sir. Lady Margaret said... Oh, sorry, sir. I must get on with my work. She's as scared of Margaret as she is of the butler. Poor girl. Um, you said my father saw things. I don't want to talk about it, sir. Poor girl. What happened to my father here? I'm sorry, sir. You're not like the rest of them here. Oh, sir, there's things you should know, but I really need this job. She knows something, but how can I convince her to trust me? I wouldn't. I shall leave you to your work. I thought you were going to take her to the cellar. Talking to me makes her very nervous, and I have nothing to ask her right now. What about the cellar? Where's the crazy old coot that was in here last time? Shall we? <sighs> I 
How cruel of Mr. McKinnon to send her down here alone. It's a cellar, not a jail. Harsh as it may seem, a proper serving of fire is the only way to get rid of such a widespread infestation. Burn him alive. Let's see what we can find down here. Oh, I don't want to. <sighs> Spiders are beneficial, dude. Don't kill them, but... Harsh as it may seem, a proper serving of fire is the only way to get rid of such a widespread infestation. Oh, I hate to do that, but... This is as close as I get. Otherwise, I'll have them crawling all over me. I have to find a way to eliminate them altogether. What do you want, a flamethrower? Jeez. The water of life. Some of these whiskeys are from local distilleries. And I needed to know that. Why? Raw spirit. Not particularly palatable, but good for cleaning and magic tricks. I see. So you're going to spit alcohol and then set them on fire? Like a fire trick? Step right up! Sir? What are you Oh, that's oh, horrible. Oh my! Oh, that's amazing! No, it's not. That's terrible. Does that not hurt? Well, nah, alcohol. A little trick I learned in India. Scared the crap out of me. Scaria, Elsa. I didn't think. Huh. Dude's got acne. And you are? Edward Malori. You may call me Edward the Third. So this is cousin Eddie. He seems dumb. Welcome to my castle. As terrible as the rest of them, my castle indeed. Pleased to meet you, Eddie. So, your parents would be my aunt and uncle Clara and Victor. Are they... Dead. Dead as door and nails, the pair of them. Lovely. You've lived here all your life, so you would have met my father. Only after he lost what marbles he had left. If it were up to me, I'd have locked him up in the loony bin a bit sooner. Locked him up? So what are you doing down here anyway? There's a line between honesty and rudeness that Cousin Eddie doesn't seem to recognize. I was helping Miss Cranon. Oh, Why didn't you ask me? Excuse me, sir. Sirs. I really have to go. Leaving so soon? Uh, was it something I said? For your creepy ass behavior. Yeah. They all tend to act like that in the presence of nobility. You said something about a loony bin? I did. Oh. Oh. You don't know. Well? Well, never you mind. I have an animal to prepare. I'm getting very tired of everyone in this house avoiding my questions. And... Uh, uh, there's something you should know, sir. Something important. I overheard them talking, and I... Uh, you're paid to work, not chat. Get to it, girl. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. Library after dinner. At last. I might get some answers. Don't bid on it. I'd better leave Cousin Eddie to his hobby for now. Gutting animals. Cheery hobby. Lady Margaret? Yes, David. I saw an old photograph of a boy in the other room. 
Something tells me she wouldn't be happy if she knew I had it in my pocket. Ah, that was taken in 1894. Young Johnny, your father. You can remember the exact year. It's a funny thing when you reach my age. You can remember dates from decades ago. But not what you had for breakfast. Maybe others can't. Um, who, may I ask, were the others in the picture? That would be your Aunt Clara and your late great-grandmother, the last true Countess of Scarhandu House. And my dear Edward, of course. I uh, noticed my father had a scar in his face. How did that happen? Probably somebody slapped him. <laughs> Falling from a tree, perhaps? I can't recall. But your father was a clumsy child. Can't recall. But you remember the date the photograph was taken? Hmm. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. Meet up with Elisa after dinner. Find the grave from the painting. The grave is probably outside. Oh, and let me do this last time. Okay, now I have to find the dining room. <sighs> Finally, some fresh air. The music is great. Master David. You could tell it was me. Your footsteps. I ken the walk of everyone here. Well, that's, that's rather incredible. Aye, that it is, laddie. That it is. I hear better than most. See more than most and all. Father had a similar toolbox. Back when he still fixed things around the house. When you talked about what they did to my father, what did you mean? You shouldn't have come back. You cannot go through what he did as a bairn and no be sick. Kid. So his hospitalization was justified then? Not for me to say. Before you think of putting down roots here, you should think on what the poison groom here did to your father. You can? No, not really. If you don't mind, this door will no mend itself. I'll leave you to it then. Uh, specifically, this uh, gardener speaks the way that they do in uh, Still Game. When they, when they Scottish accent that I heard when I was in Scotland, anyway. Can I done a kin, baron, ween, that sort of thing. Nobody left to mourn the dead or care for their graves, it seems. Well, they're dead, so I don't think they probably mind very much. Tending the graves is more for the living. Who just left a piece of a photo outside? It was just raining two minutes ago. That thing is probably gross. I have to find a specific tombstone. Ooh. Are you the one I need? I've seen this before. In the painting. This is the grave I, I saw in that waking dream or whatever it was. The grave my father buried something in as a boy. Who's buried here? If I could just... Ah! These vines are too thick. I know. Rob the crap from the guy's I toolbox. I need something to cut through these. Right, so let's rob the crap from the gardener. Do 
Rory's tools. A hammer, a tenon saw, a bolt cutter. All a bit rusty, but in good order. Rory's tools. A hammer, a tenon saw, a bolt cutter. All a bit rusty, but in good order. But why does it say take if I can't take it? Uh, the graveyard. Is it a family plot? No, it's for dolphins. No matter how high and mighty, all the Gordons end up there. You mean dead? Uh, a cheery thought. It's a shame we do not have the means to properly care for the graves. Why bother? His bones and food for worms. Fair. Um, may I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe. If I can what you need it for. The graves. I would like to tidy them up. That way I can pay my respects properly. Is that a fact? Why is that then? They are my family. They deserve to be remembered. Ah, fair enough, laddie. Just grab it yourself, will ye? He talks like the Scottish version of a pirate. <laughs> it's so exaggerated. And I don't mean the accent part, I mean just the slow and like scrap it yourself with ye. It's like very piratical. I wish life worked like that. Somebody, I would stand there, push a button, and it would get Better. done. Cecilia Shaw, knee Gordon. Aunt Cecilia. Now, let's see if there's something really buried in here. You're gonna have to borrow a shovel. Another piece of the castle model. Another part of the model, and it's stained with what seems to be old blood. Why did father bury this when he was a child? Maybe he used it to bludgeon someone to death. Well, let's return the bulk cultures and see if dinner is ready. Oh, wait a minute. Well, I have the bulk cutters. Can I cut the mausoleum open? Oh, I'm a genius. I thought it might be the case. Dark as freaking heck down here. The place is crumbling. Not the safest spot to pray. Well, I see a little plank. Ah, oh, okay. Being the chronicle of the family Gordon, as laid down by Sir Drummond Gordon. The year of our Lord, 1413. Local legend speaks of this particular glen as being inhabited from time immemorial. Enigmatic, elaborately carved Pictish stones stand as timeless evidence of this. As for the locals, they appear prideful of the counsel they delight in giving to visitors. Traveler, beware. Stones laid down by Picts don't indicate time immemorial. Historically, picks are not that old. I mean, when compared with time immemorial. The Celtic peoples arrived in this place like a great beast, bringing with them the bloodlines that would eventually spawn the Gordon clan. Using their superior numbers, knowledge, and machines of war, they swiftly conquered the primeval Picts. With them, they brought to their religion and druid clerics. 
The magics these wise men used did shape forever the lands, even until this present day. It is said that the sempiternal burden our family carries rose at that time. It is well recorded how the Empire of Rome did fail to tame the wayward Scots, that they did even raise a barrier to protect their mighty empire. What is seldom told is the truth behind their defeat. Our ancestors drew upon ancient powers to aid their victory, powers not easily fathomed by the fragile human mind. This aid did come at the greatest of costs. A debt as yet unsettled. A price we will continue to pay until the last Gordon passes to dust. Summon Cthulhu. For the centuries, we Gordons made the land our own. Others did bow to us as we kept the secrets of Skahundu, the secrets of the Black Mirror. I actually Even haven't seen as any tragedy. Mirrors and madness did fester in our foundations. We held fast and steered the land through vile English attack and worse. In time, the Gordons and the land became one. Okay. Ooh, did I miss that one in the corner? Some pages have been ripped out. The only thing left seems to be some kind of family oath. In blood we are bound to the land we protect. To the truths we alone may conceal. I shall forfeit my life. Ooh. Lest my clan should suffer, I shall forfeit my spirit to hold the darkness at bay. In blood we are bound till the day of the reckoning. What the shit was that? Oh, I'm gonna go. I don't like it here. Please, it's creepy beans. Why is there not a thing that says I can be? I don't I don't want to touch it. <laughs> I don't want to touch it. It's going to be horrible. Oh god. Okay, fine. Let's touch it. Let's just Oh, fine. Let's touch it. Bitch, I decided to touch it. Get near it. feels like it can't be real am i underwater is that what this is can i swim i'm not swimming I go back and read more crap? No, so... So I'm gonna just walk my crazy ass out of here? Is that what I do? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Is that a... Oh, God. What is that? Oh, God. What are all these things? Ooh, oh, oh. I don't want to. I don't want to. Why you gotta touch it? It's disgusting. Do you need to touch it to know that? All this looks like the bottom of a lake. You're a genius. The seaweed and the water didn't give that away. Oh, Jesus. I have to touch everything. What are you trying to show me? Fish? Lake? Oh. 
Oh, uh, oh, dead people. Very, very definitely dead people. She's not holding a baby, but some heavy object to weigh herself down. He has his tea dab because this place is nasty as hell. <laughs> that was unexpected. was completely unexpected. Uh, so apparently there are things you can do that will get you killed. I did not know that. I see. So we don't want to do that. So if I push last save, what happens? It starts me here. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to end this part here. And I will go through all this on my own time. And uh, get back to you. Bye, bye, bye.